There's definitely some weird going on here. Monsters. Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 family-friendly horror Monster Summer. The film is directed by David Henry and the film stars Mason Thames, Mel Gibson, Lorraine Bracco and Kevin James. Now the film focuses on... Um, is it Martha's Vineyard, I think it's set at? It's a small American kind of town. Um, there is a young man called Noah who lost his father a number of years ago who was a journalist. So he's obviously got aspirations to become one himself. Um, then there seems to be some strange things that are going on in the neighborhood that he's desperate to kind of get to the uh, bottom of some of his friends and some other people in the town the children are turning up um and the they're absent minded in a sense of the the lights are on but nobody's home something pretty sinister is going on um and he teams up with his friends and the local retired police detective played by mel gibson to figure out what is going on um because they suspect it might be a witch right what are my thoughts on monster summer well um I saw the trailer for this one a good few weeks ago now, and I thought it looked quite fun. It had that Monster Squad Goonies vibe going on for it, you know, kind of family-friendly sort of stuff going off. Um, and it, it looked, you know, quite entertaining, so I thought, I'm, I'm going to give this one a go when I get the opportunity. And I have to say, I'm quite glad I did. You know, while this is not going to win any awards for originality or, you know, for... Um, being like movie of the year or anything like that this is a perfectly entertaining film with a pretty decent central mystery um i think the titles are misleading bit misleading monster summer um essentially you're not getting like monster squad type stuff going off here you don't get werewolves vamps and things like that essentially it's witch um but it's handled quite well the mystery here i think um you know it's not they don't kind of, um, I don't know, lower the tone or put like stupid jokes in there or anything like that. It's not, it's not pandering to like um, any kind of audience here. It's not trying to be silly or um, daft or anything like that. There's, there's no silly humour in it. I mean, my worry was when I saw Kevin James in the cast that this was going to be a bit of... Um, you know buffoonery going on and some cheap jokes and laughs trying to throw in and it actually takes itself quite seriously here um and it actually works to its advantage um the film in itself and i think it's it's held together by a very strong central performance by mason uh thames i think that's how you pronounce his name and the last thing i remember seeing him in was uh the black phone uh he was pretty good in that um and he's very good here he's um, quite a mature young actor and he and he, he he gives quite a mature performance here about this young man who's you know he's got this troubled past with his father passing and all this kind of stuff um but it, you know it it, it gives a, a quite an impressive performance here that's that's really all i need to say about him he was he's pretty good mel gibson when i saw him in the trailers and stuff i thought well it's just going to be one of those films where mel gibson just kind of pops up Maybe for a small cameo. Actually, he's got quite a sizable role in this film. Um, he plays initially this character that the local kids are scared of. <laughs> I don't know why, but they think he's some kind of murderer. Um, very similar to Monster Scum, when they, you know that Jewish guy that they think some kind of murderer or something. Um, but no, uh, fairly quickly he builds uh, a pretty strong bond with the Mel Gibson character who turns out to be a real tired police detective and he agrees with this young man Noah that something strange is going on and they agree to team up to try and figure out what it is. Um, there's a bit of a dip in like the middle of the film where the pacing kind of harms it a little bit it doesn't spoil it but it, you know it just threatens to harm it a little bit the pacing because there's not a lot happens um for a, for a period in the film 
Um, but it, it picks up well enough, and the performances keep it interesting, and the mystery keeps it interesting, because it throws a couple of red herrings at you, if you like. One in particular, one big red, her red herring. Um, and it does actually genuinely manage to be a bit creepy here and there. Now, you know, I'm not here to tell you that the film is scary or anything like that, because it, it's made for families, really, this. It's not, you know... It's not going to, you know, scare you out your slippers or anything like that. But um, I would imagine if you're watching this as a family and you've got, you know, anybody from like, I don't know, around 10 or under that's going to watch this, I think it's very suitable for them, I think, depending as long as they haven't got nervous dispositions. But I think they'll find it right entertaining. I think there'll be some roller coaster moments for the little ones, um, and that'll probably make you enjoy it more as a parent. I think it's perfectly adequate as a family-friendly horror film, and it's a perfect, I think, introduction to youngsters to horror, if that's what you're going to do. I mean, I could be way off the mark here. I mean, maybe most 10-year-olds these days are watching bloody Terrifier, for all I know. Um, I can't speak when I was... 10, 11, I was sneaking down to watch things like Alien and what have you, and the thing. So, you know, in an ideal, shiny world, you know, this would be a nice film to sit down and introduce your kids to horror with. Um, it, it's, it's, it's nicely put together. Um, it, there's a fun mystery going on. It's, it takes itself quite seriously, so therefore you're invested, I think. Um, there's some pretty decent effects, um, and it, I think it works quite well uh, for, it, for what it's trying to be. And it's not trying to be anything uh, special. It's just it, it's just doing it quite simply. Um, and sometimes that's refreshing because films you watch sometimes overcomplicate things. You know, they put subplots here and subplots there, and this doesn't really have any of that. It just you know this young man trying to find out what's happening to his friends, um, suspects it's a witch. Most people think he's gone bonkers, and the only one who really believes something's going bad in the town is the Mel Gibson character. Um, and so you've got that kind of going on with them investigating. Mel Gibson's character not really believing what, what's, what he's saying about a witch, but all his years' experience on the force tells him that something's wrong. Um Lorraine Bracco's character, not in it a great deal. Kevin James, I don't even know why he's in it, if I'm being honest. He's barely in the thing 10 minutes, if that. So I'm not really sure why he felt the need to do this. Um, but beyond that, I think this pleasantly surprised me. I was expecting it. Well, I was hoping for it to be half decent, but I was expecting it to be garbage to be fair and this one really pleasantly surprised me uh, if you get the chance to watch this one guys um, I recommend it if you're wanting a light hearted family friendly um, horror film uh, if that's not your bag then obviously this isn't going to be for you but for me I thought it was pretty harmless stuff and it certainly kept me mostly entertained so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this review I will of course be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon